Hey there, I'm James with Penner Trailer Sales. Today I want to talk about the DOT and whether or not that affects you, whether or not you need to worry about it. What is DOT? DOT is Department of Transportation. Another term that is used is FMCSA. That is a department inside of the DOT and it stands for Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Generally speaking, in a conversation like this, DOT and FMCSA are an interchangeable term. The magic number here is 26,000 pounds. Generally speaking, below 26,000 pounds, you're not in the jurisdiction of the DOT and you're not required to have a CDL. The FMCSA, incidentally, they administer CDLs and a whole host of motor carrier regulations. But the topic of this conversation is primarily the CDL threshold. If you're over 26,000 pounds, and this is a combined weight rating, add the trailer, and the truck together, and if the combined weight rating is over 26,000 pounds, you're technically required to have a CDL. The only exception to that is agriculture applications, farming applications, or recreational vehicles. Those are the only two exceptions to be above 26,000 pounds and not have to have a CDL. The 26,000 pound mark, as near as I can tell, was established in 1984. <clears throat> I did some research to try to determine why they chose 26,000 pounds. I wasn't able to find anything uh, real clear on that. My speculation is that in the early 80s, uh, with equipment, if a truck was able to haul 26,000 pounds, that was considered a commercial vehicle. It probably had air brakes, and it was, it was quite different than a passenger vehicle. Times have changed quite a bit since then. Uh, today, you can buy a pickup that drives very similar to a passenger vehicle. Uh, has same braking system, four wheel disc brakes, <clears throat> and it will be rated to tow 36,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So for context, a single wheel three quarter ton truck typically will have a gross vehicle weight rating of about 9,000 pounds. A typical equipment trailer is gonna have a gross weight rating of 14 or 16,000 pounds. We'll go with 16,000 pounds for this illustration. If you add that 16,000 pounds to the 9,000 pound truck, uh, we're at 25,000 pounds. So that's just under CDL threshold. And again, this is just a three quarter ton truck and a fairly standard equipment trailer. The combined weight, this trailer weighs about 4,000 pounds. Again, we're saying our truck weighs 9,000 pounds. So we have about 13,000 pounds of equipment and we have about 12,000 pounds left over for payload before we get to that 25,000 pound limit. 12,000 pounds today is a really typical skid steer. Uh, a full-size skid steer is very easily going to weigh 12,000 pounds. If you have an attachment or maybe a couple of buckets, you're definitely going to be at that 12,000 pound threshold. So today, all you need is a single wheel, three quarter ton truck, a fairly standard 16K equipment trailer, and a full-size skid steer, and you're right at that threshold. And more and more people are finding themselves operating with a truck and with equipment where their combined weight is above that 26,000 pounds. This brings up the conversation about derating. So derating is, we'll use this trailer for example, this trailer wouldn't be as commonly derated because it's on the small, lighter side anyway. But this trailer is rated from the factory at 16,000 pounds. If you were to come buy this trailer for me, you could say, James, I really want this trailer, it works well for me, but I need it derated to 12,000 pounds. It's very easily done. We call the manufacturer and they'll issue the VIN sticker and the title and it will be registered at 12,000 pounds instead of 16,000 pounds. There's nothing dishonest about that. There's nothing illegal about that. It's perfectly acceptable. You're just using heavier equipment than what you're rated for. What that does then is of course that limits your carrying capacity. It limits your um, payload capacity. But the D rating is what is sometimes done in order to keep a truck and trailer set up under the 26,000 pound mark uh, with, so that the CDL requirement isn't, uh, need, doesn't need to be dealt with. My speculation and my observation is that I think that from a law enforcement side of things, they're aware of that. And sometimes that is abused in the sense that people derate trailers that really shouldn't be derated or they derate them too low and then they load above what they've rated them for, and which is obviously um, not a good situation to be in. And so the law enforcement officers, they're looking for that, and it seems like they're focusing more on the pickup and trailer 
uh, segment and challenging that, challenging uh, derating applications or perhaps challenging CDL requirements. And it's brought more focus on this. So we, it seems like from my perspective here at the store, we hear more about it, more contractors are calling in saying they're having, they were challenged for CDL uh, by a trooper and they, they need to get their trailer rating down or something like that. Uh, but it seems to be more of a topic today than it has been in the past. But I, So I hope this has helped um, to kind of clear this up as to where CDL requirements uh, start and stop and how to work with that and how it may or may not affect you.